morning everybody, unless of course you're watching this video in the evening and that gives good evening and you are watching Time Travel TV and today we're going to be talking about the Battle of Ondiman and a very very famous battle, lots of famous people were there Lord Kitchener was there, Winston Churchill was there and most importantly of all, Dad's Army's Lance Corporal Jones was there They do not like it up em. they don't like it up em. <laughs> So, our story starts in 1884, with the death of General Gordon in Khartoum at the hands of the dervishes. So, this led to much growing public opinion against the dervishes, and they wanted to retake Khartoum and Sudan. So, in 1896, the Prime Minister finally gave way to public opinion and called for the reconquest of Sudan. In charge of this, he put General Kitchener, at the time one of the youngest generals in the army. He's later became more well known for the man on the poster in the First World War saying, Britain needs you! So, what happened was, he took his army down the Nile by steamship and eventually reached a place called Adbara where they met 16,000 dervishes. A battle ensued and they were quickly uh, brushed aside, and they continued on to ta Khartoum, and eventually they reached a place near Khartoum called Ondiman. When Kitchener and his army reached Ondiman, that is where they found the Dervish army. In total, Kitchener had 25,000 men. He also had 10 gunboats and 46 artillery pieces. Finish. 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 In Kitchener's way was the entire Dervish army. The army was nearly twice the size of Kitchener's, comprising of around 50,000 Dervishes. When daybreak on the 2nd of September 1898 came, the Mahdi ordered that his dervish army charge straight towards the British front line. As the Mahdi's men drew closer, the first to open fire was the artillery, then the gunboats, and finally the infantry were all firing upon the Dervish army. Two and a half hours into the battle, and after bloody fighting, the Dervish army looked as though it was going to be beaten, and they retreated away. But the battle was not done yet. The British 21st Lancers, their cavalry, was ordered to keep on the enemy's right flank in order to keep them away from the city. On the charge! Charge! This was the last full cavalry charge the British Army would ever make. But it had turned out the British had underestimated the size of the Dervish army. When they had reached the uh, right flank, they had realised that rather than being around 500 uh, dervishes, there were more like 2,700 dervishes. Bloody hell! Despite the dervish numerical advantage, they were forced back. But this was still not the end of the battle. The dervishes were still not beaten yet. They regrouped and then attacked the British rear guard. They're rallying again, sir. Hello! 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 Not so many of them now. Nor of us, sir. Despite their attack, the dervishes were beaten back again, and this time for the last time. The British had won the battle. A spectacular victory for the British. <laughs> 
So, in total, around 11,000 dervishes were killed, as opposed to a mere 500 British. Four Victoria Crosses were awarded on that day. The Daily Mail called it more of an execution than a battle, but the reconquest of Sudan would last another year before the Mahdi was completely defeated. And that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to Time Travel TV, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!